Today is the day, my friends, that we go to Walmart. And I know what some of you might be thinking, Marina, Walmart is the enemy. Walmart is the dark side. Well, there are many reasons why that statement is kind of true. But our mission is to change the world, and I don't believe we can change the world if we don't have everyone on board. Today, we're going to go into Walmart, we're going to try to zero waste grocery shop, see what it's like, if it's a success, if it's hard. We're going to experience it together, because we are in this together. Are you ready? Let go. Here, fam, we have arrived at Walmart. Say hello to Walmart over there. I just wanted to set the stage for zero waste shopping at Walmart. Things that we're gonna be looking for, do's and don'ts. The first and foremost thing is we're gonna be looking for products that have no packaging at all. So good example are apples. Apples with just a little tiny sticker. Sticker is still packaging, but for the most part, there's no packaging at all. This is great because we don't have to worry about dealing with the packaging. We don't have to recycle it, we don't have to compost it, nada. The second thing is we are gonna be looking for things that are packaged in more sustainable materials like cardboard, which you can recycle or most preferably compost, glass, which you can reuse over and over or recycle, and tin or metal, aluminum. These are things that you can recycle over and over again. The problem with things that are plastic in our recyclable is that not all plastic is recycled the same. In short, plastic is very complicated in terms of recycling. All recycling requires some form of energy, but there are a lot of different tricks and loopholes and regulations for recycling plastic. It's kind of a low to Hitchikaka. I think it's ridiculous and it's way too complicated than it should be, but these are just the things that we're going to be looking for. I hope we don't get caught because my camera is relatively large. I'm bringing my Canon 80D which is really the only camera I have I don't have a vlog camera yet so I'm gonna take this jean jacket and and hide you so we don't get caught so um yeah keep your fingers crossed I think we can do it Hello, little friend we are going to try to make a better world for you I promise and we're gonna start here Um. What? Okay. Well, will somebody call the plastic police? Because this is just ridiculous. In an effort to calm down, I decided to take my cart and stroll down the aisle. Then I returned back to the vegetables in the hopes of finding at least one item unpackaged. Was I successful? No. And just when you thought things couldn't get more bananas, they did. Like these bananas, for example, that are organic and apparently feel the need to put a big, thick plastic tape around them stating, yes, I'm organic, please put me in your cart shopper and take me home. So the goal here is to get enough groceries to make a dinner and then some, and I know I'll need greens. This bag is recyclable, but I really only like buying recyclable plastic if I can reuse the container. So let's go see if we can find greens in a container I can reuse. I'm actually really stoked that they have organic lettuce and things like that. But again, it's all packaged. Um, so say I lived in a food desert and depend on this, this is what I would get, but obviously you should go to the farmer's market or something like that to avoid all this plastic, but I do want greens with my meal, so I'm going to... I moved on to the fruit section in the hopes of finding some package-free options, but much like what we saw that happened over at the bananas, all of the organic options were worse in terms of packaging. Now I know what you might be thinking. How do you like dim apples, Marina? I don't. Well fam, let's go take a stroll down the aisle, shall we? So in terms of making a meal for myself, I'm thinking some like lentil curry thing. And I went into the Asian aisle to get some coconut milk. And so cool, they have unsweetened organic coconut milk. Really awesome in terms of packaging because you can fully recycle aluminum as we covered. And I could also reuse this can. So definitely gonna be getting this for a recipe. 
And the good news continues. I found an organic spice section packaged in glass reusable containers. So this is where I'm gonna pick up our curry powder for the recipe. So excited to see some organic canned food items. Can I get a sexy can I? <laughs> Oh god, I'm gonna grab a few of these for our dinner. As I walked a little bit further down the aisle, I spotted one of my favorite companies, Amy's Organics, and they had a variety of their soups. After the many wins that I experienced, I figured I would be a bit ambitious and take on the candy aisle to see if there was anything that this Zero Waste Vegan could snack on. Just one question, can a girl get some kisses in a compostable bag? I mean, come on, Hershey, you can definitely afford it. Well, I have to say, I did not expect to find this. Organic chocolate, and it's vegan, which is so exciting. Um, and these are all their chocolates and candies. Note how most all of them are packaged in plastic. Um, but these are cardboard, so when you are buying candy, if you have no options to buy candy in bulk, actually look for containers that have no packaging and come in this cardboard because you can recycle that or compost it. So we've gone through the produce, we've even found some organic beans and chocolate and spices, but I'm curious about their snacks, so let's go investigate. If you are a breakfast person, you will be stoked on this. I found some Quaker oats over to my left there. They are 338 for this whole thing. Non-GMO certified, which is awesome. Not certified organic, but I would say this is this is definitely a win. And the packaging is cardboard, so you can compost or recycle this. I do get my oats in bulk and I have plenty of them, otherwise I would definitely be stocking up on these. Go Walmart. I can't really find any zero waste snacks. I mean, just as this is an example, this would probably be your best bet. I know I said to avoid plastic, but this is a container that you could likely reuse. But other than that, everything else is packaged in plastic, so it's pretty, pretty much a bummer. Well, fam, they tricked us again. You might think, oh, great, cereal and cardboard that you can compost or recycle, but no. No, no, no. Inside of this box is plastic, which you'll definitely have to throw to the landfill. So, things I will never understand. Buy these plates. They're 100% compostable, good for the planet. Great. Well, then why did you put it in plastic? What? Going down the juice aisle now in the hopes of finding something organic, sugar-free, and in glass, please and thanks. What is this I see? 100% tart cherry juice, organic, gluten-free, vegan, sugar-free, and in glass? This is a cause for celebration, people. Somebody get the can opener. I mean, bottle opener. Well, this is just utterly shocking to me. My favorite chips under the sun, chia and quinoa chips, they come in a recyclable bag through TerraCycle and they're available at Walmart for $2.68. I usually get these at Whole Foods for like $8, so I'm feeling pretty pissed at Whole Foods right now. Well, you can't buy chips without salsa and Walmart has an organic salsa that's chunky, my fave, you know, gotta have those chunks. And it's in glass, so I can reuse the container. These are the other brands that they have available. They have their Walmart brand and a few other Hitchikaka brands, but overall, I am impressed. So definitely a big fan of maple syrup for a sweetener, and what I love about this is that it comes in glass, and that's pretty dang affordable as well for organic maple syrup, so I'm stoked about that. Oh, look at this, apple cider vinegar. Literally such minimal packaging, you could reuse this glass water bottle, and there is no safety seal, that extra plastic annoying thing. So if I needed some apple cider vinegar, I would definitely stock up on this. This one, however, does have a safety seal. So when you're trying to grab, oops, when you're trying to grab a product, just try to get the one with the least packaging possible. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to find some organic salad dressing, and I found this, Rihanna's, which is kind of like the closest to it, but it comes in this extra seal, this extra plastic seal, so no bueno. If I were to, I did see some apple cider vinegar completely in glass, and I could get some olive oil. Oops, there goes my earring. <laughs> so yeah, I would just get some apple cider vinegar, some olive oil, salt, pepper, and call it a day, because ain't nobody got time for this. Mm-mm, mm-mm, Walmart, really? 
Do I spy chia seeds? This is amazing. So cool, coconut flour. In a container like this, you can definitely reuse a container like that, which I love to see. Cane sugar, non-GMO, organic flaxseed. That is dope. I'm definitely gonna get that. Yes. If I could have gluten, I would definitely pick up something like this because this is a material that you can just compost. It's made out of paper. I don't need this at this time, but if I did, I would definitely get some coconut flour as a gluten-free alternative to flour in a more sustainable packaging. So if you had to choose between these two, pop quiz, which one would you choose? So this is cool, they do have gluten-free pasta. The only plastic is obviously this little window here. So that's not zero waste, but for the most part, you could get this pretty much zero waste friendly. And I love that there's gluten-free options. They also have a lot of gluten-free bread and things like that. But again, this is a lot of packaging, so I would definitely opt out of getting bread if I had to shop here. Something that I really love to see is seventh generation. So eco-friendly products in their cleaning department. As many of you know, the FDA doesn't regulate the term soap. And so a lot of products like won't shout any out. A lot of products are just filled with chemicals and synthetic fragrances that are petrol braced. So super stoked to see that. If I needed some laundry detergent and couldn't find the ingredients to make it myself and in bulk, that would be a really good, good alternative. I was curious to see if they had any eco-friendly brands for paper towels or toilet paper. Not to my surprise, they didn't, but it would be cool to see them come out with their own line of post-consumer recycled products. But here I am with my cart. I'm walking away from Walmart with definitely a grocery cart of stuff, so that's good, but mixed emotions nonetheless. Let's go home and see what I got. <sighs> Here are my bags, my bags from Walmart. And I have to say, I am not used to my tote bags crinkling as much due to plastic. But let's look at what I got. So the first thing that I'm gonna share is my organic spring mix. And I got this because the meal that I plan to make is a coconut curry, but I also wanted greens. Greens are essential, and let's just say I didn't live on an organic farm. I didn't have collard greens growing, kale growing. I would want some nutritious greens. Greens are especially important to get organic. They're part of the dirty dozen. When sprayed with pesticides, they really go right into the vegetable. They don't have a peel or a thick skin to protect them and so this was the best option and yes it comes in plastic but it is recyclable and it has the little recyclable symbol right here number one so you know it is packaged but that's that's what we got then we have our next packaged item which are raspberries and raspberries are something that I would pick up from the farmer's market typically. We also grow a lot of different fruit on the farm, but again, if I didn't have access to a farm or I lived in a food desert and didn't have a farmer's market and Walmart was the best grocery store for me, these are organic. So again, these are part of the Dirty Dozen. You're gonna wanna get these organic and they are recyclable. They come in a recyclable container. So there's that. Oh yes, and an avocado. So an avocado is an example of a fruit that is not part of the Dirty Dozen. It has a thick skin, as you can see. And so I did decide to get this non-organic. If they did have organic avocados available, I likely would have bought an organic one, but all of their organic ones were packaged. And so that's kind of one of those things. It's like, do I take the plastic packaged organic avocados or do I take the avocado that's non-organic but also not part of the Dirty Dozen? I would take that one. The next thing, more packaging. <laughs> These are organic chia and quinoa chips. Quinoa, quinoa. I don't know. I actually really love these chips. If I am to splurge and buy chips, I will pretty much only get these. It's because they come in a bag that is recyclable through TerraCycle. So I'll leave a link. You can learn more about TerraCycle through the link below. But you can essentially send all of these packageable packaging materials as long as they have that this can be recycled through TerraCycle symbol on there. You can send it in and that can be recycled and repurposed. Shout out to TerraCycle, they're awesome. Would be cool to work with them, but these are the chips that I got. 
they were the only eco-friendly-ish packaged chip bag. The next thing that I got, which I thought was a pretty big score, was organic 100% tart cherry juice. So there's that. And I'm a super big fan of juice. It's hard to find unsweetened juices, let alone juices that are packaged in a glass container, which I will definitely, definitely reuse and not recycle. I'll keep reusing this as long as I can. Do you see that USDA organic symbol? So that's really awesome. I'm stoked about that. And then I got a lot of canned items because there were organic options and that's that's groovy so i got these two to make the curry and i will likely add in both or i could keep the chickpeas and add them to the salad and make a salad or something like that during the week but nonetheless these are organic and they were super affordable as well Overall, I believe I spent, I actually did, they didn't ask me if I wanted the receipt printed or not, so they printed it. Overall, I spent $36, and the canned items were 92 cents only, 92 cents. I'm used to paying, like, close to $2, so these were some other items that I got. Great for dinner or lunch or whatever you, whatever you please. This I thought was a really cool score. It comes in glass. Again, this is an example of a item that I would absolutely reuse in terms of packaging. It's glass. I could use this to store my homemade yogurt or my homemade salsa if I were to decide to make some salsa. This is organic. It's medium chunky and there's no added sugar, which is awesome. Aww. Chips, salsa, a classic and it's cool to see that they have options that are not in plastic and also organic. This is packaged. It comes in plastic, but I thought this was a win because it's organic. If you are a vegan or plant-based eater, you can use flaxseed as an egg replacement in baking. And flaxseed is pretty expensive. I just think that's really great that they're offering superfoods and nutrient-rich and dense foods like that. They also had chia seeds, which is a superfood, and it contains those omega-3 fatty acids, which are especially important for the plant-based eaters that aren't getting them from from other other substances that are animal based and then this is another thing that I got which is organic unsweetened coconut milk it comes in the can which you can easily recycle so there is my other can item and then the last thing that I got I wanted to show you guys what kind of spices and things they had. Most all of their spices and baking materials and flours and breads and all that, they were packaged in plastic. You cannot recycle those kinds of things. They definitely can't be recycled through TerraCycle, as I mentioned. It has to have the TerraCycle little symbol like, yes, okay, you can send this to TerraCycle. Um, that's a long-winded explanation to say that this was a curry powder that I bought that comes in glass. It's organic and there is very little to no packaging other than the little seal. Like right there. So yeah. Um, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit just so you can see all the food. This is my grocery haul. I honestly didn't buy a ton. I bought what I needed and what I could use to make a dinner and to even go into the next day to make a breakfast or a lunch. This salad would last me an entire week and the raspberries as well would last me an entire week. The coconut milk if I were to make like a curry or a stew, I would add some avocado in for some extra healthy fats. I'd add the lentils in for some protein. And that meal would also probably last me two to three days if I were to make it all at once. And for this kind of juice, honestly, this could last me for like a month. I don't really drink juice that much. And it's a really big bottle. And for the chips, again, yeah, I don't really snack too much. So these would also probably last me like one to two weeks. And the salsa, again, like maybe one to two weeks. This would probably last me several months. I do bake, definitely. I'd say I bake like quite a lot in a month's time. But this is a huge bottle. And again, for only like, I think it was close to $4. That is really good. So that is my zero waste 
grocery shopping haul at Walmart. In terms of finding organic and vegan options and even gluten-free, I would say they've expanded so much, which is really beautiful to see. I imagine as the zero waste movement grows as well, you will see a lot more packaging that is eco-friendly and hopefully compostable. If you guys like this YouTube video, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on your post notifications, which is the little bell next to the subscribe symbol. That will let you know the next time I post. And let me know if you guys would like me to do another zero waste shopping haul at a store that you go to a lot that maybe perhaps you have a hard time finding zero waste options. I think the next store that I'm gonna do is either Trader Joe's or Costco. I'm not sure yet, but anyways, thanks for tuning in and I will see you guys soon.